Picture this, a bustling Baghdad street. The air is rich with the aroma of spices and grilled meat, a sensory symphony that lures you in. This is the heart of Iraq, a city that thrives on its vibrant street food culture, where every corner unveils a culinary delight waiting to be discovered. The city of Baghdad is a vibrant tapestry of cultures, each adding their own unique thread to the city's fabric. This diversity is reflected in its street food, an eclectic mix of dishes that tell the tale of the city's rich history and the people who have made it their home. Every street, every alley in Baghdad is a gastronomic journey. The air is filled with the tantalizing scent of freshly baked bread, the sizzling sound of kebabs on the grill, the sight of vendors skillfully crafting sweet treats that will make your mouth water. The city's food scene is a feast for the senses, a symphony of flavors that are as diverse as they are delicious. From the hearty stews and grilled meats that are the staples of Iraqi cuisine, to the sweet pastries and desserts that are the perfect end to any meal, the streets of Baghdad offer a culinary landscape that is as rich and varied as the city itself. But it's not just about the food. It's about the experience, the sense of community that comes from sharing a meal, the stories that are told over a cup of tea. In Baghdad, food is more than just sustenance. It's a celebration of life, a testament to the city's resilience in the face of adversity. It's a way of bringing people together, of bridging divides, of creating a sense of unity in a city that has seen its fair share of division. So the next time you find yourself wandering through the streets of Baghdad, take a moment to savor the aromas, to taste the flavors, to immerse yourself in the city's food culture. Because that's the beauty of Baghdad, a city that lives and breathes through its food. Among the myriad of flavors, one stands out, the Mazgouf, Iraq's national dish. This isn't just a dish, it's a culinary delight that tells a story of a culture steeped in history. To prepare Mazgouf, you begin with a carp, a freshwater fish commonly found in the Tigris River. The fish is split down the middle, seasoned liberally with rock salt, tamarind, and turmeric, then left to marinate. The marination process isn't just about infusing the fish with flavor, it's an essential step that transforms the carp into Mazgouf. Once marinated, the fish is skewered and placed around a fire, specifically a fire made from apricot wood. The choice of wood is not accidental. The apricot wood burns at a steady pace, allowing the fish to cook slowly, and it adds a subtle, sweet smokiness to the dish. As the fish cooks, it's regularly basted with olive oil and pomegranate molasses, a combination that creates a tantalizing glaze and a taste that's as complex as it is delicious. The result is a perfectly cooked fish that's crispy on the outside and succulent on the inside. But to truly understand the significance of Mazgouf, we have to take a journey back in time. The origins of this dish date back to the Babylonian era, making it one of the oldest known dishes in the world. It's a dish that has survived the test of time, a dish that has been passed down from generation to generation. Throughout history, Mazgouf has been more than just a meal. It's a dish that's deeply rooted in tradition and community. It's a dish that's often prepared at large gatherings, where the process of cooking becomes a social event in itself. The sight of the fish slowly cooking over the fire, the sound of the crackling wood, the aroma that fills the air, it all adds to the Mazgouf experience. Cooked over an open flame, Mazgouf is not just a meal, it's an experience, a testament to Iraq's culinary heritage. It's a dish that tells a story, a dish that takes you on a journey, a dish that gives you a taste of Iraq. Moving on from the riverside, we find ourselves amidst the aroma of sambusak and shawarma. Imagine a world where the crunch of a perfectly fried pastry meets the symphony of spices and meat. Welcome to the world of sambusak. These golden brown half-moon delights are nothing short of a culinary treasure. Traditionally, the dough is made with a perfect blend of flour, water, and a pinch of salt. The filling is where the magic happens. A beautiful concoction of minced meat, onions, parsley, and a secret blend of spices is cooked to perfection before being encased in the dough. The sambusak is then deep fried until it reaches a golden hue and a texture that's a perfect balance of crunch and fluff. A single bite into this treat, and you'll understand why it's a favorite among locals and tourists alike. But the gastronomical journey doesn't stop there. 
As we navigate the bustling streets, there's another aromatic delight that's sure to capture your attention, the shawarma. Picture a towering rotisserie of marinated meat slowly turning, basking in its own juices. The meat, usually chicken or beef, is marinated overnight in a mixture of yogurt, vinegar, garlic, and a mix of spices that adds a unique tanginess to the meat. The marinated meat is then stacked onto a spit, and as it rotates, the outer layer is beautifully roasted. The shavings of this roasted delight are then wrapped in soft, warm flatbread, along with a medley of fresh vegetables and a drizzle of tahini or amba sauce. Both sambusak and shawarma are not just foods, they are an experience. They are a testament to the culinary prowess of the Iraqi cooks who have perfected these recipes over generations. The popularity of these dishes is not confined to the locals. Visitors from around the world are drawn to these street-side stalls, captivated by the tantalizing aromas and the promise of a taste that's truly unforgettable. These savory bites, wrapped in the love of Iraqi cooks, are an essential part of any food journey in Baghdad. No meal in Baghdad is complete without a sweet ending. Enter Klaicha and Halawa. Klaicha, Iraq's national cookie, is an undeniable staple in any Iraqi household. Picture this, a delightful dough made from flour, yeast, milk, and a touch of sugar, enveloping a sweet filling of dates, cardamom, and a hint of rose water. This mixture is then meticulously shaped into intricate patterns, using traditional wooden molds before being baked to golden perfection. The result is a beautifully designed, aromatic cookie that not only pleases the palate but also the eyes. The preparation of Kleitsche is an event in itself, often bringing families together. This humble cookie isn't just a treat. It's a symbol of unity and tradition passed down through generations. It's enjoyed during celebrations, religious holidays, and everyday moments of joy. Now let's shift our focus to halawa, another sweet delight that has a special place in the heart of Iraqi cuisine. Made primarily from tahini, a paste derived from sesame seeds, and sugar, halawa is a dense sweet confection that comes in various forms and flavors. Some versions are studded with pistachios or flavored with vanilla, while others are plain, letting the nutty, rich flavor of sesame take center stage. The process of making halawa is a testament to the artistry of Iraqi confectioners. First, sugar syrup is boiled until it reaches a specific consistency, then tahini is added, followed by a vigorous stirring until the mixture thickens. The final product is left to cool and harden into the sweet, crumbly delicacy we know today. Halawa is not just a dessert, but a comfort food, often enjoyed with bread or as a standalone treat. It's a memory of childhood, a taste of home for Iraqis around the world. Savoring these sweets is like tasting a piece of Iraq's rich culinary heritage. With a bite of klaicha and a spoonful of halawa, you wrap up your meal on a sweet note, just as the Iraqis do. Street food in Baghdad is more than just a quick bite. It's a lifestyle, a shared experience, a tradition passed down through generations. This vibrant city pulses with the rhythm of sizzling grills, bubbling pots, and the chatter of vendors calling out their wares. Each vendor, each stall, each cart is a testament to the city's rich culinary heritage, an open book inviting you to turn the pages and explore. The street food of Baghdad isn't just about sustenance, it's about community. It's about families gathering around a vendor's stall friends sharing a meal under the open sky and strangers becoming friends over a shared love for Mazguf. Every bite is a conversation, every flavor a story, and every meal an invitation to connect. Street food is also the heartbeat of cultural celebrations in Baghdad. Be it the joyous festivities of Eid or the vibrant celebrations of Novruz, the streets come alive with the smell of traditional delicacies, the aroma of freshly baked klaicha, the sweet allure of halawa, the spicy tang of shawarma and the smoky goodness of sambusak fill the air, drawing people from all walks of life to partake in the communal feast. The street food culture in Baghdad is a mirror to its soul. It reflects the city's resilience, its love for life, and its unwavering spirit. It's a testament to the city's ability to transform the simplest of ingredients into culinary masterpieces. This is Baghdad's food culture, a tapestry of flavors woven with love, passion, and a deep respect for tradition. It's a culture that thrives on the streets, in the heart of the city, feeding its soul and nourishing its spirit. 
So next time you find yourself in Baghdad, remember the city's soul lives in its food. And to truly know Baghdad, you must taste its streets.